So this morning I, I made a huge mistake. It was kind of weird. I usually like wake up and do certain things like right away. And this morning I was like, you know what? I'm a glass died. Look at the stars, you know. Right away, like as soon as I woke up. And like it threw off my entire routine. Because usually I look at the stars like 15 to 20 minutes after I wake up. And today, like, as soon as I woke up, I went to look at the stars. And then, like, I became, like, tense and nervous. And, like, I was, like, like, really frustrated with myself. And I was, like... Getting, like, all worked up about, like, how... I did it wrong. Like I wanted to cry and it was like it was like dude like it was just one thing. And then I was like really worked up about time and not finishing on time and I ended up disassociating so much throughout the process of just making food in the morning that I finished like 35 to 40 minutes later than I usually do. And by the time I finished, I was so exhausted. And then I was like trying to figure out like my new time schedule and like when I was gonna eat and like when I was gonna like work out and like how I should go about my day and like the setup of my day and and I was constantly I was like thinking about that for like the entire morning and like the morning fucking sucked can't stand it man like I really I'm getting to the point where I'm just like just want to and, and it turns out like when I get to, to these days where I like I want to you know I have like the set thing in place and it turns out like when I have these days like I don't get anything accomplished And I'm just exhausted because I'm, like, so worried and uh, about, like, time and when I'm going to eat and where I'm going to go. And if I go there at a specific time, I won't be able to eat and I need to eat at a specific time. And, like, on top of all of that, I have, like, a therapist appointment today my trauma therapist at like 12.30 so I don't know where I should be for that because it's over the phone because of the virus so I don't know like should I take a walk and talk to her or should I be at home and talk to her but it's at 12.30 and that's like the time that I'm usually on the bus to like go to the park to be outside and eat lunch so I'm like well I can't be on the bus and talk to her so I'm like this day fucking sucks man like the whole day screwed up number one because I went and I looked at the stars and number two because I have a, an appointment with somebody at the exact time that I'm usually riding the bus so now I'm like now I'm probably going to have to walk to the park. That's like... I can't stand walking that far in that... At that time of day because it's... It's like I use up all my energy walking. And then I don't have energy to do the things that I want to do. Like play basketball. I don't know. And I walk enough as it is. I, 
I walk like three or four miles a day anyways. I'm having such a black and white day to day. You know, like a splitting day where Like it's all lost and like I need to like like recenter and like just be present and just like just recenter. <sighs> it's hard to recenter because I'm I'm like really worried today about like where I am and where I need to be and I'm already like really like behind. I still have to like wash all my dishes and still have to work out to work out in like 24, 24 minutes and uh, I just find myself just like either disassociating being extremely tired or just like wanting to just like sleep and just not even be here anymore I guess you could say or just you know, just stay home and watch cartoons today or something I don't give a shit I, I really don't care anymore and I know that's not going to make me happy and I know I'm going to be like oh my gosh yes it was awful when I look back on it tomorrow I'll be like, don't do, don't do that again. Don't have one of those days again. But I feel like when I have one of these days, like that's the only answer. Is to just like, just not be around people and watch cartoons. get away from people I, just, I don't know I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore I just I'm just I'm getting really tired of worrying about the same things and it's always about time and eating and the fact that I don't have enough time and like when to schedule the eating in and not being outside enough and whether I'm going to have regret at the end of my life because I wasn't outside enough because I like being outside so much but when I have these days I'm not outside and then I feel guilty about not being outside because I'm like because I'm like all fucked up in the head and it's and I'm like all like not where I need to be and it's like well okay so it's like what do I do you know like do I force myself to go outside and then it's just like no I really don't want to go outside but like I know that I like should go outside because I feel better when I go outside but I don't really like I don't You know, yesterday I had such a good, I was having such a good day. Well, the end of it wasn't that good, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know if I really ever have good days. I just, I think I just do whatever I do to get through them? I don't know, man. Like, I don't fucking... I don't know, man. I just, I just, like, I just don't even know. I just, like... I keep living these days, and, like, I don't really like any of them. It's like... I don't even know if I really like them. 
I'm just here. And it's like, well, what am I going to do today? Because I'm, I'm here. And then I do things and I don't really like doing them. And like my li my whistle and my my dead gecko on the floor are in the wrong places. Like they're somehow the papers moved around them or something. I gotta fix that. It's driving me nuts. The whistle and the the papers around my gecko. And then there's a bunch of people that messaged me yesterday, and I have to message them back. <sighs> God, man, I don't even know. Just... <sighs> it's like all these things get stacked on each other. And we don't even really know if we... I don't know, I can't really speak for anybody else. <sighs> I'm just getting tired. I think I'm just getting really tired. I'm becoming obsessed with my body again, and I, like, and I know it's like... Yesterday I was like sitting and I was sitting in this chair and I was looking up and I was looking at the things around me and I was outside and and all of a sudden I saw this this snake, this well it was a thing in it in like this tree and I was just like, What is that? And it was a snake. It was a snake in a tree. It was like Nine feet above the ground, and I was like, This snake in a tree, like nine feet up. It was all wrapped up, it was all like coiled together in this tree. It's like, That's so interesting. Like, there's a snake like nine feet above the ground. But before the snake, I, I was, like, thinking about, like, well, I work out every day. Uh, and like sometimes I work out, like, a lot every day, like, 45 minutes every day. It's like, who am I working out for? Like, who do I want this, like, body for, anyways? I was like, well, you, like, you probably just wanted to, like, like, still attract people, you know, so people will look at you and be like, wow, that guy's got a really nice body, but I'm getting older, so nobody really cares. Like, there's younger people, younger people than I, than I am that have nice bodies. And it's like, well, why, why do I need to have a nice body? I don't even know why I do what I do anymore. So utterly confused. Not if it makes me happy anyways. I don't like the food that I eat. I don't even really like to work out anymore. I don't really know what I'm li like living for, I guess you could say. And it's just like, well,
and like you know I like to be with nature and be outside but it's like days like this I don't want to be outside I just like like I'm sick of nature in a weird way and it's like and it's like hot and nature is like it's the same it's So if I lose nature, it's like, well, what do I have? And I'm just really exhausted. When I'm really exhausted, it's hard to be present. I can't really, like, I just don't care about anything, you know? It's just like, I just kind of just want it to go away. You know, I think I'm back in one of those moments where I just want to sleep constantly. I just want to go to bed all the time, you know, not work out, not do anything, just sleep, just not really be here, <sighs> so frustrating, it's so, it's not, it's frustrating, but it's just like so stupid, it's just like, I just don't understand. And then you could be like, well, you could get married and have kids. Like, no, I can't. No, I can't. They go, oh, you could get a job. Because if you got a job, you, like, have some meaning to your life. And, like, you do something for eight hours a day. And, like, your mind would be distracted. Like, I, no, I can't get a job. Like, if you listen to some of my past videos, you know why. And I can't get married or have children. Maybe even not even be in a relationship. And if you listen to some of my past videos, you know why. So it's like, what do I do? Just continue to stare out my window. Eat food I don't like. I have body dysmorphia, so I have to constantly, like, work out and just eat foods that I don't like, and what else is there? Just staring at things, just look at things, and just drift and look at things, and then drift and look at things, and drift and look at things, and drift and look at things, and I think that's what life is, for me at least. For other people, probably not so much. And I think that's probably my purpose. To drift and look at things. And, you know, maybe continue writing books. Or, you know, making these videos about drifting and looking at things. <laughs> maybe that's my purpose in life. To drift and look at things. To write. About drifting and looking at things. Because <laughs> my... A lot of the chapters <laughs> in my ebook on Amazon, by the way, it's a dollar. Joe Winnero. A lot of the chapters are about being suicidal and drifting and looking at things and being homicidal and being insane from time to time. I gotta fix my gecko on my floor. If anybody's watching, congratulations. Present day people, I mean. And for people in the future that I know are watching, the future people. Future people? I hope you're having a good day, future people. And the date is for the future people, <laughs> September 29th, Tuesday, 2020. Future people, you're so very nice. I think that's my person in life, talking to the future people. Yo, future people, what's up, what's up future people? Okay, future people, if you had, if you had to choose between Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse and you had to hang out with one of them for an hour who would you choose? 
You know, I bet you future people, I bet you people in the future, in like 2080, I bet you there is no more Mickey Mouse. And I bet you there is no Donald Duck anymore. I don't know what you have in the future. I hope it's okay. You know, I hope there's not like hurricanes all the time and like tornadoes all the time. And I hope like people aren't eating each other. You know, like there's that book, The Road, where like everybody like, you know, every like there's no food anymore. So people start eating each other in the future. So if it is the future, I hope it's not like that, that book, The Road, and I hope people aren't eating each other. Something positive to end on. Ha, ha. I like looking at my eyes sometimes when I make like funny noises and stuff. Ha. Have a good day, future people. <laughs>